that is just a little dollar store USB cord. When it's unplugged, the mouse no work. When it's plugged in, the mouse works and it's charging. Hello YouTubers, it is of course I, Trollface the Man, and welcome back to another video. Now this video isn't my normal type of video, um, but it's something that I did that I found very useful and interesting, and I think you guys might find useful and interesting too. And also, Big Daddy YouTube's algorithm punishes me if I don't upload videos every so often, so sometimes they don't necessarily follow a, a specific theme, so yeah, fun. Anyways. This right here is the Razer Mamba Jamba wireless mouse that uh, I've actually used for quite a while. Uh, it is able to be used wired or wirelessly, and uh, I've used it for gaming, content creation, a whole bunch of different stuff, and I'm very happy with it. And if you are, if you don't already have one of these mouses, these mices, these mice... Anyways, if you don't already have it, and if you are potentially interested in picking up one yourself, I will put an Amazon link in the description below the video that you can buy that at no additional cost to you, but it will be an affiliate link, which may help support the channel if you use it, which is very much appreciated. But if you're watching this video, you probably already have this mouse anyways. My problem was, is that in order to charge this mouse or use it wired, um, you would have to use a proprietary cord because it has a special um, sort of slot that this fits into in order to charge or again use it with your computer and to me that was very no bueno because with my pc my actual desktop pc i have my um, wires zip tied to my desk including this wire here otherwise i need to go all the way behind, even if it wasn't zip tied, I need to go all the way behind my computer and manually unplug it. Every time I want to use it with a different laptop or, you know, a different device or anything, or my mouse gets low and I need to charge it. So the thing was, is that I needed an additional cord. The problem was though, when I looked, these additional cords were anywhere between 10 to like 16, $17 for a little micro cord this right here as you can see is actually not the one that uh comes with the razor mamba but you can see i was able to use this dollar cord to not only charge this mouse but also in order to control stuff with it if you see right there that is actually this cord right here mouse no work mouse works um and yeah i mean i i much rather make a cord for a dollar than waste 10 or 16 dollars or more for a cord that really in reality should be like a dollar and that's what i'm going to show you guys how to do today so this right here was just a standard micro usb cord that i had lying around there is absolutely nothing special about it. This was the first micro cord that I had grabbed just out of a spare pile of cords I had. Um, you can see the dimensions here. If you were to try and do this yourself, you'd want to match the dimensions fairly closely, if at all possible. What I found is that it was almost the perfect size just to slot into um, right here, except for it won't because this has little ridges. But by simply adding those ridges, which you can do with a very simple method, you can actually create a mouse cord that you can plug in that is actually very secure, surprisingly. I was kind of worried that it wouldn't be very secure, but is actually fairly, fairly secure because it's, it's, again, locking into those edges. So for a dollar, I was able to make this. Now, this one isn't ideal because unlike the other one that I have here, which is more square, which I'd prefer, I have this dollar um, USB micro cord. It's literally from the dollar store. It has rounded edges, so again, not, not necessarily as preferable, but it's almost the same dimensions where, again, it almost slides in here, but because of those ridges, it can't. So let's add some ridges. I swear, my stove... Does not actually look that bad in person, but on camera, oof, it uh, <laughs> it does it does not look pretty on the camera. 
Anyways, I this can technically be done with a lighter, a torch, anything, but I have this propane stove, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to use a standard flathead screwdriver. Now, again, keep in mind you're going to want to have these dimensions pretty close, um, but the way that it works is those ridges are almost perfectly in line with the USB B connector, or excuse me, not the USB, the USB micro connector, which means if we use a heat source like this and we spend a couple of minutes to heat up, maybe not even a couple of minutes, but just a little bit to heat up a screwdriver, we then can actually, and I'm going to change angle for this. So after heating up the screwdriver, we can literally take the screwdriver and very carefully just press it into the plastic along the edge here. And as you can see, that actually makes a nice little channel. In this case, this is a little bit more rubbery than the other stuff that I had before, which is plastic and the other connection. But again, now with the other side, now theoretically with these little channels melted in the side, and again, I can clean this up a little bit with like a knife or something like that, but let's see if it fits in. Just going to use a sharp knife, clean that off, careful with this, obviously you're using, you know, a flame, and also you'd be using a knife to clean it like this. Now let's try, aha, look at that, and again it's actually locked in there fairly well because of the fact that there's that channel there. Now, obviously, if you're going to be actually gaming while using this USB cord at the same time, you gotta make sure it's below the level of the mouse here. It's not protruding out, and you want it to fit very well. This one is kind of a, a looser fit because it has that rounded cord to it compared to the other one, but if it's for charging or whatever, it will work fine. So, again, I can just now plug this right in and it holds pretty tight because I left that sort of V shape into the cord, which pinches more the more you push it on. So when I have this pushed in here, it's actually very, very strong. You can see that there's basically no wiggle. So let's try it out. Here is laptop. Here is green cord. I'm gonna unplug this other cord here. Oh. Mm, angle this better. I'm going to plug this in. Oh, laptop is off. Let me turn laptop on. There we go. Oh, there we go. Hey, there we go. Okay, it took a second for it to be recognized. But as you can see, I now have a cord that is just a little dollar store USB cord. When it's unplugged, the mouse no work. When it's plugged in, the mouse works and it's charging. So now I can keep these spare cords with me uh, to actually use with my mouse or what I actually prefer to do is I just take around the wireless module and I can use these cords in order to charge my mouse when I want to use them with the laptop or such. It's working fine. Yeah, it's, it's like, like I said, it's working just perfectly fine. And now I have uh, some spare cords that I can throw in my laptop bag that when I want to use this mouse, I use it wirelessly, but if I ever need to charge it, instead of needing to plug it into my regular computer now and leave my computer on to charge, I can plug this into my laptops on the go, or I could plug it into a battery pack or whatever, and again, not need to be tethered to my main computer. So that, that to me, sure as hell is worth it over paying again 10 or $17 for a cord. So if you guys uh, found that useful, helpful, whatever, uh, I'd appreciate it if you leave a like. If you comment, if it was useful to you, I appreciate that too. If you know somebody that might find use of this, 
you know, just hit them up, say, hey, check out this video. And uh, again, I do highly recommend this mouse, actually, um, if you wanted to get a good gaming mouse and general use mouse. And again, that will be in the description below the video. Uh, I've been using it for a couple of years now, and I'm, I'm very happy with it. So again, if you do that, it'll help support the channel. I appreciate it. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching, and bye.